I spent a very pleasant time with uh, Brian and Josh sitting in their garden, a cup of coffee and some biscuits, and then I was to set off on my way to my sister. And the intended journey was this, through the flat areas of the east, into the hilly areas of Yorkshire and through Leeds. But I was feeling so tired after the previous night when I hardly slept at all. So I decided to stop. I phoned around a few places and I ended up... This is the campsite I ended up at. It's very basic. And I only have one neighbour. But it's good for me because I can sleep. Much needed sleep. And I have electric, so I won't get cold tonight. And before my nap, I've managed to wash one of my favourite shirts. And now, I'm going in for a nap. Ah, good morning. <laughs> and in spite of the fact that this uh, campsite is uh, right next to the rather busy A1, and I have slept like a log which I very much needed to after that dreadful night, the previous one. And in any case, I could just take my glasses off, I can't see the traffic. I take my hearing aids out, I can't hear the traffic. So it's, for me, it's, it's great. And in actual fact, um, if I parked over in that corner over there, or along that side there, instead of right by the entrance where I did and it would have been much quieter so uh, if anybody's travelling up and down the M1 oh sorry the A1 and wants to make a, a stopover um, it's, uh, it's a really good place for that um, as I say very very basic but uh, for the purpose great and unfortunately not all that cheap it charged me because I was um, had had uh, just turned up on the spur of the moment, not pre-booked. Charged me twenty pounds for the night, but I had all the electricity I wanted. There's uh, Elson chemical toilet disposal unit here. Uh, I've had a look in the uh, facility, the shower rooms. They look okay. Uh, I didn't use them uh, because you're not supposed to really, and I. I I don't uh, want to take any chances with this COVID. But, uh, no, I'm ready to start my last few miles to see my sister in Bailden. So, uh, I'll wrap up, well, I'll go and empty the toilet and uh, empty my waste tank and then uh, we'll get on the way. Because uh, tonight I'm stopping on her driveway. And she's promised me an uh, electric hookup. <laughs> I don't think she's going to charge me £20. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, and by the way, anybody wants to know, the campsite is called A1. Because it lies right alongside the A1. Well, that's the toilet emptied. And uh, I'm ready for the off. I've uh, selected a route which I'm not familiar with at all because I don't normally come to my sister from this direction so uh, I've put the um, the lady on to give me directions verbally as well uh, because I, I know roughly um, the sort of roads that we're going to be going on and I think I'm going to be have to watch the traffic and I don't want to keep looking down at the, at the map to see so the lady can tell me that's nice. She has a very pleasant voice. So, uh, we'll get started. Just got about 30 miles to go. Very pleasant avenue down here. There's some 
static caravans over the far side there. A retirement park for the over 40s only. <laughs> when possible, make a U-turn. Uh, I thought it went automatically, but it doesn't. On the way out, or on the way in. So, anyway, we're off now. Alright, well this is the M1, the, the A1, sorry, I keep saying M, it's, it's a, the A1. Just over a mile, no, no, just over a mile from here, and then turn off and double back on myself on another road. stop because my right ear is still aching like mad and I haven't put either a hearing aid in and I can't hear what the lady's saying so uh, I'll have to go and put one of the hearing aids, I'll put the left one in. Okay I've, uh, I've put my left hearing aid in which I hope will be enough but that's the one that's got to be adjusted because it uh, whistles like mad as well which is a nuisance and I've taken two more uh, paracetamol and see if that uh, helps this ear. We'll see. In three quarters of a mile, turn left. We've just entered West Yorkshire. Unlike yesterday, all the flat. We're coming into the hilly bit. Yeah, nice little place. Turn left. Little river there. So we have to enter more lane. He said, well there's something that I haven't packed away properly in the cooker, it's uh, rattling like mad, so <laughs> I should have to stop again and put that right. Well I don't know whether I fixed it or not, but we'll soon find out. I couldn't find out what it was actually. One of the big differences between having a motorhome and a caravan is in a caravan you can't hear them everything rattling about. In a motorhome you can. So you have to make sure everything is packed away properly. Well, well she's taking us up onto the M62. Which I didn't think we were going to do any motorways today but that's the way she's uh, decided. Heading towards Leeds and uh, Bradford, but I don't. I really don't like being on the motorway, so I'm going to get off and reset the lady in the sat nav and tell her to avoid motorways. I'm going to get off here and find somewhere to stop. Turn left, then turn right. No, <laughs> I'm going another way. Oh, 
Oh no! Oh dear. Oh, I've really mucked that one up. Oh no, oh, wait a minute. I can go in here. Right, then turn I'm right. sorry, quick right. No, no, lady, yeah, hang on a second. I'm I'm going a different way altogether. So I'll set reset you in a minute. Right, right, the, the historic Roman town of Castleton. So I'm sure they would have had laybys or somewhere that you can stop and reset your sat down. The Romans are really good at that sort of thing. I'll go into this little industrial estate here and reset up. Well, I've reset her to avoid motorways and she's given me two alternatives. I'm going to go for the blue one through Leeds. Um, I'm on the way and at the moment uh, according to the sat-nav, I should be with you in about 45 minutes and 29 seconds. Okay. <laughs> I don't know about the 29 seconds because I'm not moving at the moment. All right. Okay. okay. All right. I'll see you soon. Yeah, see you whenever. Okay. Just come on the driveway. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah on, you. on your driveway, not, not Robert's, obviously. No, no. Oh. You'll see the space next to the two cars that are there. Just pull straight to the front. All right, then. Pull okay. Back. Right, yeah. you are, then. Okay. Che cheers. Bye. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Interesting looking building there. Ruins. The park. I'm going to look that up and see what it is. Around here, there's a lot of buildings made of York stone. It's, uh, I'm a different to the Cotswold Stone. Uh, it was very popular building material in years gone by. And a lot of the new houses are filled with reconstituted York Stone. Well, got about four and a half miles to go. At Roundabout, take second exit. And uh, I'm back into territory that I know reasonably well. At roundabout, take second exit. People coming out of a church service over there, look. And it doesn't look to me as if they're social distancing. Maybe they think somebody above is... Uh, Go and look after them. Well, that's where my sister lives now, and she and her husband, Dennis, who unfortunately passed away a long, long time ago, they bought that, and it's now they she sold it to her daughter and son-in-law, and she's got a granny flat there. Well, a few a few years ago, she had that one built for herself in part of the garden but she's now sold it to her son so the whole clan live here and that's what's left for the garden down there and it's a nice little house it's got a balcony on the back there you can see the spiral staircase going up to it and there's sister Susan with her Covid haircut which I rather like okay. <laughs> it's nice <laughs> But to meet the rest of the family and see what's inside the shed, you'll have to come back for episode 5.